Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. And in this video, what I'm going to show you is how to use the Exodus wallet. It's a desktop Bitcoin and altcoin wallet. It's one that I like to use and it is a very popular one. So what I will show you in this video is the complete walkthrough of the wallet, all the basic functions like switching between the coins and then looking into some of the more complex features that not everyone uses, but they're handy to know, like how to export your private keys and change the localization and stuff like that. If this is my first video you've seen, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the little bell icon to always get updates. If you get value, please give the video a like and also a share as it helps teach other people and also grow my channel. So Exodus, here we are on the Exodus site. It's exodus.io. You can come in, there's a lot of different information here. I'm not gonna read through it, you guys can do that. To get started, you download the wallet. You have Windows, Mac, and Linux, so whichever your operating system is, download it and install it like uh, any other software application that you would. So what I've done for this video is I have downloaded a fresh version of this. This is a brand new wallet. It's one that I used for a video recently on the Litecoin fork and how that all works. So I'm gonna use the same one for this video. So once you install it first, you will come into something like this you will have a screen that is similar to this. What you have to do first is you have to send some funds to the wallet. Once you send the funds, then you can go through and set up your email address and your password. It will send you an email with the backup link and also make sure you store your 12 word backup phrase. So that means that if you ever need to use that wallet on a different machine or if something happens to one you're on, you can back it up with either the 12 word phrase or else the backup email and password. So once you're in, you have your main portfolio. You can see there's only $1 in Bitcoin in here because I sent $1 just to activate the account so I could come in and have all of the features. Then there's a few other altcoins here. If you want to add more coins, then all you have to do is go into settings down here and then can't make it any bigger. You have your lo localization here. You can change this to whatever yours is. US dollar is the standard. Some people will want to change it. Some people, even if their own currency is not the US dollar, like myself, leave it in the US dollar as that's what we're used to in cryptocurrency. So then assets. In here is where all of the different coins are listed that are stored on Exodus. So you can see, you can go through all of the different coins here to add them. We'll say we want to add Bitcoin Cash. I want to add Dash, uh, District 0x. All you have to do is tick them. And then if you go back to portfolio, you can see they are automatically added here. I like the features that it tells you the percentages of each of your, each coin makes up on your balance. You can click on this here and it changes to how much of the actual currency you have. If I go back into finish settings, so that's how you add the coins. Skins then is just the visual if you want to change that, doesn't really matter. Backup we've covered, so that's on how to backup your account and how to restore it if you need to on a different machine. Portfolio then, we have covered that as well. Wallet is where you have the different transactions. So you can see I sent in the funds today for the to activate the account, I sent in one bit or one, not one Bitcoin, one US dollar. You can see that come in. I have the link here. You can click on the link to any transaction. This is your TX ID. It will take you and give you the details of that transaction. So if you send a transaction to someone and the funds haven't reached or they're telling you they don't have them, you can come in and click on this here and get the transaction details. So to receive, just go into receive and then you can copy this address. This is a dummy wallet, so it doesn't matter you guys seeing the addresses. And then to get more Bitcoin addresses, you can go through there. Once you receive funds in this one, it will generate a new one. So every time you receive funds, you can use a new address if you want. Some people like to do it. They get every single payment into different addresses. And then some people will just keep using this one address the whole time. So it's just a personal preference and how much you want to get into the privacy of your wallets. So then if you want to send, go into send, put in the Bitcoin address, it will work out the bit, the network fee down here. You can always see the fee and then it will tell you what your remaining balance is going to be after you send the funds. So it's the same, you can put in your QR code. So if you scan there, it will use your webcam to try and scan a code if you have one. 
and they all work the exact same. So there's Bitcoin Cash, it's the same. You have your receiving address, you can receive there, or you can send, and it's the exact same screens. You put in your address, put in the amount, and that's it. The other option then is the exchange. So they're connected up to Shapeshift, and you can change. So if you have Bitcoin, I'm not sure why my $1 isn't showing up. Maybe it's not enough. But you can exchange any of the coins you have for another coin, and that is all done through Shapeshift. So you can do it here through your Exodus wallet, and the third party they use is Shapeshift. Now, this bar here is one that you mightn't see when you load up first. To show that bar, what you need to do is Control Shift and D. That will bring up this bar here. You have Exodus, Edit, and Window. So under Exodus, not many people will need to use this, but it's some extra features that you as well know if you are using the Exodus wallet. So under developer, you have the assets. So you have the main assets here. You can commit to Bitcoin. You can export the addresses. You can export the private keys. So this is something you have to be extremely careful about. If you export the private keys, make sure that you never let anyone see them. So you can click on that. You are sure that you want to do it. Then it exports them out here and you can see it gives me the address on my desktop and I could go in then and look at the private keys. You can go in and you can look at the private keys there and if you need them for something else, if you need to import that wallet somewhere else, you can use the private keys to do that. But just be very careful. The one time that you might need to do it is if you get an ERC20 token sent to Exodus, what you need to do then is you need to come into assets and you would go into Ethereum, export your private keys and then you can look at that on your My Ether wallet. You can log in there and access that account with My Ether wallet. But I'll do a separate video on that. So what else did we have here? So that was the assets and exporting. So your private keys, the rest of them, I don't think many people will ever need them. You can restore a wallet from the seed phrase there or from the recovery link. Data folders, again, not needed. Price preference. Some people might want to change. This is where it gets the actual price of the coins from. You can change it to coinmarketcap.com or cryptocompare.com. Notifications on or off, uh, Windows. So I don't think it gives you, uh, where are we? Yeah, so it's just on or off and then they pop up when you get something. Doesn't really matter. The rest of them, I don't think many people will use them. So that's it. That is the basics and then taking you into a few more of the complex ones then with the private keys. I hope this has been a help. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. If this is useful, if you still have questions, let me know. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video then to answer any of the questions. So thanks for watching guys. If you got value, please give it a share, give it a like and I will talk to you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.